It's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today for our devotional reflection. Particularly, I want to share with you about uh, anger and being less angry. As we're spending more time uh, together as families uh, due to the lockdown, it might come that we are a little more agitated one with another. But I'd like to encourage you not to be angry. Here I read uh, two verses from the Proverbs, and I'll say a comment about that and then try and uh, suggest some practical application. Proverbs 14, verse 29. Whoever is slow to anger has great understanding, but one who has a hasty temper exalts folly. Note what this proverb says. It's not saying don't be angry. It's just saying being slow to anger. And if you are slow to anger, the proverb says you'll be one of great, under great understanding. Uh, you may likely know better why the person that is aggravating you was aggravated, or maybe why they were uh, not as polite uh, or as loving as they, they could be. But being slow to anger provides the ability to explore that, to investigate it. But one who has a hasty temper, a quick temper, um, exalts folly. Lots of negative things can happen when we're quick to anger. Here's another text, Proverbs 15, verse 18. Those who are hot-tempered stir up strife, but those who are slow to anger calm contention. Those who are hot-tempered, who fly off the handle uh, quickly, they have a way of stirring up strife. In other words, if there is already strife or agitation, a hot temper stirs it up and makes it even worse. But those who are slow to anger calm contention. Being slow to anger, uh, once again, one can be angry, but slow to anger has a way of calming things down. How much better it is to calm things down rather than to stir them up. And this comes from controlling our anger. The last number of years we've been living in a time where people get much more angry one with another. And that's not a help. It makes dialogue much more difficult and makes understanding each other much more difficult but here may, maybe are a few practical suggestions for becoming a little bit more slow to anger. First off, consider praying. Take some time to pray. It's the God in heaven above who is the one who works out uh, disagreements and uh, problems. He is the one who can calm our spirits internally, but he's also the one who can work through problems, whether it be with our families, whether it be with our friends, or whether it be with that, uh, anyone else uh, in our work situation. Take some time to pray. And when you're in the midst of an argument, let me encourage you to just take a breath. Slow down. Control yourself internally. Just by taking a breath uh, might be able to uh, help ease the tension. Think of the person with whom you're talking. If it's somebody who's acted loving and acted kindly to you, give them the benefit of the doubt at times. Um, Maybe they said something that struck you the wrong way. It just rather than fly off the handle and stir up contention, uh, maybe absorb it once or twice. Uh, it's not saying that you can't speak to, uh, whether it be your wife or your husband or your son or your daughter, uh, about uh, what they said or what they did. But you know, if they've been kind and loving, give them the benefit of the, of the doubt at times. And then lastly, let me encourage you to memorize scripture. And sometimes uh, we don't think about this, but putting the right things into our mind can help us to act uh, rightly at the heat of the moment. For example, the text I read on Monday, being, uh, being uh, quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger, may help us uh, in the time of a heated argument. The righteousness of God is not uh, accomplished by the anger of men. So let's remember to be less angry, to be slower to anger, instead to be quick to listen, and then let's look for our Lord's blessing as we interact with our family members who likely love us more than what we even know or think. May God bless you today.